Very good morning to you. Welcome to the show this morning. It's been a wet day in Lagos, but of course we're here to cool things down and ensure uh, that you have a swell time watching sports this morning. I'm Jemi Adebayo. Always a delight to have you join us to talk sports. I'm Austin Okonakwa. Let's go to Rio. That's the venue for the 2016 Paralympic Games. Team Nigeria going on strong. We told you yesterday that Josephine Oji has what it takes to win a gold medal. And she did. It's now eight gold and still counting for Team Nigeria. Well, and it can't get better than this. It's so good to still have uh, two athletes in the discourse final today. We'll be giving you more on that but let's talk football now football administration in europe new era for the man in charge alexander safari elected as the new uefa president takes over from michel platini new era indeed i know um one door mm. closes another opens what it is. But, but it's going to uh, use uh, michel platini's tenure mm. and it they probably stand for election but most of us didn't see this coming the slovenian was well, not known. A lot of people are already saying, look, it took a lot of uh, support from Gianni Fantino mm -hmm. to make him president. That's right. And, I mean, Gianni Fantino needs all the right people that can work with him, particularly now that they know they still need to do more reforms at FIFA. And he said that, look, we need to just break away from the Swiss, ah, is this strangulation on uh, UFO sector? Stranglehold. You know? So he said, look, I'm, I'm taking it out. Gave um, Secretary General to an African lady. Now we've seen someone from Slovenia. Tough for suffering. But hey, he says he knows the politics of, uh, of working with UEFA and FIFA. I mean, we only wish them all the best. Yeah. We just want the best of international football. Let's stay with the 2016 Paralympic Games. That's the one that is getting us talking right now because Team Nigeria, they're going on strong. You know I mean? They've smashed their record at the London 2012. It's now eight gold medals. Eight. I don't, know, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Mm. I, I guess by now, the only thing we, we, we're expecting is how these athletes will be re I mean, received. This smash lot. I mean, there's no team Nigeria athlete that won a gold medal that didn't break the record and set a new one. And incidentally, most of those records broken were the ones held by the individual. Just imagine. It just, <laughs> just shows you how, how good mm. and the kind mm. of representation these guys have given us. And like I said earlier, we have two athletes in the discourse uh, right. final today. Lorita Onye uh, still already has a gold in the bag. She, she's there. You also have Ikeria Iyazi uh, still there as well. And this is what went down yesterday. Just mm. you, you, mm. you talked about it all I told you. Yeah. <laughs> now when I tell you guys these things, you guys just, yeah, oh, come on, here yeah, you go again. I know Just Finalji, she, she's got the quality, went all the way, won gold in women's plus 86 kg powerlifting event. Uh, or just set, it, it keeps getting better with our powerlifters. They are not just winning gold, but they're taking it a step further. Just Finalji sets a new world record of 154 kg to take the victory. Yeah, Mrs. And even after sweeter. that, she requested for a heavier uh, weight, and she lifted it. Just shows you uh, how good, how awesome. good uh, awesome. most of our athletes are. And then this is about the biggest upset at the power table tennis event, where Chinedu Emmanuel and Nick, uh, Chinedu Emmanuel Nick and Ahmed Koleo show crashed out, but they cost arguably the biggest upset because before they crashed out, they went on to beat a very dominant team. Uh, they crashed out in the quarterfinal of the men's team class 4 mm -hmm. to 5 table tennis event. Uh, team Nigeria surpasses gold medals all at the London 2012 with 8 so far. We said so. This just makes this guy special. It does. It does. And that's the medal table Austin. It feels good. It feels yeah. good. You go to... And some people are already saying that we're a Paralympic nation. Uh, I, I think... Um, that's not good. Mm. That's not good. We are an all-round nation. We just need to get our hacks together. Uh, all-round sporting nation, I, I, I meant to say. China, Great Britain, Ukraine on the, the medal table uh, as one, two, three. Then Nigeria in 10th position. And I keep on saying it feels good to see Nigeria above South Africa any day. Any day. Kenya, <laughs> Ethiopia, Tunisia. Uh, it feels good. And today is day eight. Who knows? Uh, we already have two athletes in the final. Who knows? The medal hall. Uh, might just uh, increase and I'm hoping it does actually also I'm hoping it does I'm hoping that we get more because and now what is left like I said what is left is to see how well these special people will be received what will be done to them and what will be done to encourage you know people watching and saying you mean I'm not useless to myself I'm not That's useless right. to Nigeria mm -hmm. I can get something done uh, 
you know, it will encourage them to, I mean, you watch on social media, you see a lot of people displaying mad skills that, like you always put it, mm. mad, doing stuff that even able-bodied people can do. Can do. And, and, you know, how about making those people represent mm. us? Uh, at you know multi sport events like this and bringing honor mm. to the fatherland, mm. the aura, hear me, when you're around this brand. I'm, I'm sure you you've done a lot with wheelchair basketball. The aura, that power of sports that you feel when you're around these guys, when they are looking at you that has proper body, two legs, two hands, and they're telling you things that can be done that you cannot even imagine that's how and they're saying thank you for just giving them an opportunity to showcase their talent they appreciate what they have and that for me is just special and it's just support 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 we know how much they complain mm -hmm. if the good guys can complain we'll say, okay they can even go out of their way to get and you let's not allow these guys open their mouth let's not no, 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 let's not go i remember when we did the show uh, one of the night you said they need assistance you know they need people that can take care of them mm -hmm. some of them it is even as far as family members that are around them to push them take them all the way we need to do more and i just hope that the minister of sport there's another opportunity to say look we cannot just keep having these guys do their best and when we come out we'll do is kill their morale and and we should stop thinking about money there you go if, if we think about money it, it kills it just kills your morale but if you look at the long-term gains Look at long-term games. We'll put what we need. Um, I was telling you about one of the wheelchair um, um, basketball players. Yeah. I, I sat and I listened. I've been to this place. I've been to that uh -huh. place. I've been to this place. Uh -huh. and, and I'm like, what, what's going on here? A breadwinner. Yeah. Uh, there's one that the, I think the husband plays in Germany. The wife plays in France. There you go. All of those beautiful stories. Got a lot. All because of sports, That's which right. underlines That's the right. power of sports. Mm. And, and we should stop in Nigeria, stop thinking about money. Mm. Think about the long term. I mean, take, taking people off the streets, people who can feed their families, people who can do the sport, help the nation mm. uh, get better, and of course, win revenue. So of these people will become taxpayers. Yeah, you go. I, I mean, a, a lot of this yeah, goes into all of yeah, these things. They're not dependent. They're making good use of their lives. That's the power of sports, right there. We're saying it. Do you want to feel it then? Give sports some following. Let's tell you the story of Alexander Seferi. He's the president of the Slovenian Football Federation, but now president of UEFA. I mean, what a, what a, that's, I don't know if that's more than an upliftment, but responsibilities have changed. And he says with the kind of UEFA he has come to see, he wants to make it stronger. Some of things is going to um, rock the boat. You know, it, it doesn't come from... I don't want to use the word elite nations, but look, it's not coming from Germany, mm. Italy, France, mm. Spain, Slovenia. See, this it's coming from understand that development. It's coming from that mm. block that feels undervalued. It's coming mm. from that block that doesn't have the big slice. And you remember what happened when the European Clubs Association, led by Carl, Carl and Rominger from Bayern, yeah. all the things they were talking about, revenue sharing. And somebody like that will look like, look, you, you want to rule us out, all That's of this. Right. He's already talking about a lot of changes mm, mm. That, that should come on this. And he's saying, look, there's not going to be any breakaway. Uh -huh. <laughs> there's not going to be any breakaway league. That's right. Don't, don't make all of these people too powerful mm -hmm. that they hold the lesser nations. Don't think you're going to take me to a clean uh, yeah. and then we're going to be working with this one. So much, Alexander. And, and he beat Michael Van Prague. That, that's the surprise uh -huh. for me. Michael Van Prague from, from Holland before the election mm. told us that, look, I'm seeing some hidden hand somewhere. And the, the, the Spaniard that most of us expected, you know, it was when uh, Platini uh, stepped aside or was forced to step aside, mm. whichever way you want to look at it, we thought he was in poor position to become the UEFA president, step down, and now you have this guy, I and mean, he's right. little known. I know. I uh, know, I mean, that's the story. Alexander Seferin, uh, he gave an acceptance speech, and not just him, reactions um, trailed after he was announced president of, um, the, of UEFA at the Congress right there in Europe. So we'll listen to the reactions, listen to Seferin. He was very brief. He says, look, it's all about change. We'll be right back. It's a great honor, but at the same time, great responsibility. It means a lot to me. It means, and my family is very proud about it. My small and beautiful Slovenia is very proud about it. And I hope that one day you will also be proud of me. 
No, uh, not, not unsatisfied. I mean, uh, you see, Alexander and myself, uh, we want the same things for UEFA. We want the better UEFA, more transparent UEFA, etc., etc. The only thing is that he, he wants to do this his, his way, I want to do it my way. Yeah, and democracy is that uh, people make a choice. And they have made a choice for a new, fresh face, a much younger face than I am. And, of course, I calculated with that. Eh? I'm not stupid. So, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really disappointed. Uh, I, I feel that uh, I know Alexander for years and uh, I have a very good feeling that we will cooperate very well together. And I do really think that Alexander is someone who can uh, go for a change in a correct and a professional way. So, UEFA needs that, FIFA needs uh, a new wave and I believe that Gianni Fantino is the right person to do that. So, the two together will be a nice pair and uh, football is going to you know, regain uh, respect uh, and the professionality. I know Gian Infantino since I became UF, uh, president of Football Association of Slovenia from 2011. I think he was a good general secretary of UEFA. Then everything else concerning this, those elections which were, uh, were happening today was uh, media imagination and some other people in imagination. Uh, if you wanted to ask me if he supported me, I hope so, but I don't know anything about it. Because if, if a guy who was a UEFA general secretary would think that I'm the best for that position, probably knows the organization. But all the stories about support, official support and stuff like that are, are a simple lie. So about the Champions League, we were not informed properly. I, stay, I still think so. About everything else, I have to sit down with all 55 national associations, see what is the agreement and what we can do in future about it.